we have on to strike and uh, we are ready to knife ourselves to victory lee strike is a map that we have not loved red by don um no not really uh although they were pretty strong in it this morning red bite red bite versus fofos they won 13 6 this morning against the fofos which is very strong ox however also beat the fofos on it so uh, I'm not too sure. You may have noticed the screen suddenly got a lot brighter. Apologies about that. I'm not too sure what happened. I had set it all up nicely this morning and reloaded the PC and it's all back to what it was. So even the resin changed and everything. So you should should be a lot brighter for you guys. Uh, apologies if you hadn't noticed that. It's, we soon strike loaded. We thought, that's pretty dark. <laughs> but uh, I, I really don't know what to call this one because Goofy's pretty good without scope. Messer's not that bad with a scope. Um... Shah and Leo are pretty pretty quick rushers, but Met as was fantastic on this map. It's really going to be about landing those nades in the. Uh, I'm just waiting to ready up. Landing those nades in the statue area. That's what the main thing seemed to be uh, against against Fofos. They were landing them perfectly, and the Fofos they were losing about two or three members every single time in that statue. So let's see how the nades go. Here we go on board with. Uh, let's find our sniper Goofy, who uh, Lee has openly. Uh, declared his love for and yeah, that's why he loves a man with a sniper rifle as he picks off Shaw and uh, opens up the fragging in this second map as the Oxide find themselves needing to chase this game down Umba is on the prowl remember guys if you're Italian you can tune into the Italian audio from this match it's also on the UGC covering page as uh, Mirko and Matt exchange frags because uh, Mirko has gone down at the hands of Riddick, and we are now at a three on three. Courtesy of Lejo's frag onto Goofy. Did take out the sniper, it cost his life though. The red bike side, two men, uh, sorry, three men up on against the uh, two of Ox as Messer darts back with the sniper rifle. Someone was shooting at him, he knows it, he felt it. Just like Forrest Gump, he got shot in the butt talks and is now looking for the revenge, but doesn't get it. And uh, now Umba will make his way around to the back. Skins made his way in, knows exactly where Umba is. I'm not sure they're aware of Messer's position. They certainly know where Umba is after that frag as he dances the dance around the water fountain. And uh, Umba waits patiently. Messer dead. Riddick the, f the killer. 16 seconds to go. Do they have time to run it over the other way? Yes, they do because they're already there. Um, and Riddick is the man who's watching their back. Umba needs to be aware of this, and he has, and, he, and amazingly, he's Explosion got out without Riddick planted. even seeing it, I think, but uh, Riddick must have guessed where he's gone now as he makes his way through. Now, I think Umba actually has gone a long way, and they don't know where he is. Flies over towards his bomb site, and you can start singing the Umba Lumba song, if you like, as he makes his way into the bomb site. Skin all the way at the back. Riddick in there with the frag. Don't sing the Umba Lumba song because he's dead. Well, there's plenty more of them around. <laughs> okay. We won't go there. So Goofy, we saw him with the opening frag. We didn't see any opening grenades, though, coming out. And again, there's no opening grenades. It's a bit too soon, maybe. Not even the car explosion. Goofy does land the opening frag. Met also gets in on Leo. Let's try and switch across to him. Met actually was heading across towards B. And I saw Goofy's rotated around towards him as well. Really getting Messer down. This is a strong push from uh, Red Bite here. They're going very aggressive. They've got to really push their advantage. They've got five on two. Goofy downs Mirko. Last man standing is going to be Umba. He's got a hell of a lot to do. He's in the A statuary. He's thinking, where the hell are my team gone? I'm up the front and they've all run past me. And now he's just realized I'm going to have to nail it through the wall. Not going to happen. I'm mean, there again. And it is 2-0. Strong, fast start from Red White there on that round. Yeah, it's been a, a very good start for them. Goofy is going to have to... Uh, continue what he's doing here because he's uh, been able to dictate the flow a little bit for the red bite side he's uh, mixing it up this round makes his way all the way to the back now looking over to the side riddick with the grenade drops leho and what's he see nothing skin gets himself the frag on the mesa skin picked off though as uh, shah says no you can't mirko finds himself the frag onto riddick shah is out for the count and lots of frags i'm seeing none of them and uh, the bomb is with evo we'd hope that he will be the one that leads the stream to fragging action. Yes, he does, but not in the way he would have liked it as Umba picks him off. And we're at a two on two. Met and Goofy left standing for Red Bite. Our Ox about to win their first round 
He may be because Mirko has done it. Umba is going to not finish off. It's going to be Mirko that finishes off. Goofy out for the count. 2-1 the score. And uh, finally, um, we have ourselves uh, a round. Yes, when the uh, the red blips are moving towards themselves on the map, it's generally when some action happens and you flicked away the moment they did. It's like, ah! Just going to keep you on your toes, Lee. Well, tosspot camera work, what can you say? Let's see if I can do any better. Skin does land the uh, frag Leo on skin. It is uh, Goofy landing straight on Mirko. That's pretty much point blank. You couldn't get much closer. He's going to rotate around towards A side. Umba on the statue. And uh, you can hear those shots from Goofy. They just got a glimpse of him there. Mirko, it was Umba found Met, actually. It was, sorry. I was going to say, Umba was either blind there or Goofy was invisible. Oh, the man he killed was invisible. <laughs> so Evo with the bomb. He's got Umba on that statue. And uh, I think he's going to make it. Oh, he's just going to go right back into base, to be honest. If he actually looks... Oh, that Goofy does land the shot, though. And that's going to signal the move, surely. They've got one man just around the corner there. He's hitting away. He's in the, uh, he's in the street, isn't he? Yes, I can see him on the street. He's going to poke out any moment now. Umba needs to be careful. He's Goofy. I think he's covering his back. It is uh, ridiculous far down the street at the moment. So Eva's going to move in with that bomb. Goofy's doing his best to try and cover him. So Goofy comes across. Bomb goes down. Evo Explosives plants. Planted. So Goofy comes around the side, gets the deagle, doesn't matter. Evo can do it for himself. There's one man just came in as well from that entrance. He's just around Bin. Goofy's surely going to see him any second now. He's going to come around. There he is. Evo gets him though. It doesn't matter. Evo can do it all himself. And that was a strong round for me, Red Bite. So two on three, and I'm going to make this really cheesy in my analogy on how to, do, uh, to describe what just happened. Call of Duty sometimes is all about the shots you don't take. And I reference Exton Kicker uh, and the clan based Call of Duty final, Euro Cup final from many a year ago, where you wait for people to go by, wait till you have all the information, and then you unleash hell. Well, someone in the street in that last round didn't. He just shot his load instantly, and it cost him big. Here we go, though, as the Ox side with three men make their way in towards the bomb site. And Evo goes down. Red bike three on three. No, Mirko's in fact the last man standing as uh, Met's got three frags. Well, help Big Skin get all the way into the action. Mirko knows there's a man up there and he's just stuck behind the car. As the oh, Ox side really sinking without trace on their defense. And this is going to be 4 1 unless Mirko can pull out something magical. As he goes around, he's. He's definitely Italian in his nature. He's in no rush to go to the bomb site. Decided to go all the way upstairs. <laughs> and uh, in the end, picked off. We're at 4-1. Uh, and this is a great round for Red Bite. Why, Stuart, I have no idea what you were getting at with that. Uh, <laughs> it's been a laid-back lad. It's, it's, hey, it's been nice. Nice and refreshing. But at the moment, Goofy goes around towards B. He's going to hop up there. Mirko gets... Riddick and uh, Goofy's going looking for frags over at B where it's all really happening over at A at the moment and Umba still got himself positioned around those sandbags of the statue. It's not really got anyone anywhere near him though. Shah is, uh, Shah is quite forward as well and they're just thinking it's got to be a B push. Surely they've got to be realising it because there's just no one there at A site. Goofy's going to be on the top level still. He's, uh, yeah, he's still looking down the street you can see on the map just above. There is somebody actually in B, which is where those tracer fires just coming from as it goes past. Skin surely would have seen those. He knows roughly where it's where they came from. And he is the backside of those bins. And I think he just caught a pixel glance of his arm. Which is why he's positioned and waiting. He's gonna move in though. He's got one man around that bin. Shah does down Goofy, so that's the scope down, actually. So Shah may well have come around the side. Skin, I'm going to try and stick with Skin, because I know there's someone there, but they're just not coming out. They are hiding, hiding, and they have no reason to come out. Skin finally downs Mirko. Now he goes in. Now he goes looking for Meso. He's messing her in around there. No, because he is there. He's uh, stood on the ledge, and now Shah, the last man standing for Ox. He's uh, in the corner position where the sniper really is. And, uh, oh, it's a sneaky bomb plant. A sneaky bomb plant, and Shah's there in already. And, uh, well, I think it's Evo that ran off with the bomb. And Skin is nowhere to be seen, so he's on his own. So now Skin's really going to have to double time it over here. Shah's going to try and go in for the bomb. Skin, you need to get yourself in there. Get on that diffuser. No, he's had to give it up, and Skin just about got in there. And, well, not so sure of the teamwork of Red Bite there. That was more single play. And, uh, and I'm not sure Shah should have come off that bomb. I thought he was going to yeah, get it. Yeah, I think so. 
Um, however, 5-1, and Red Bike in cruise control on this map right now. Albeit they uh, they waffled a bit on that last map, but they are really flying high. Goofy had all the time in the world to take that man out and decided to let him live. Very nice. And uh, the opening frag has gone the way of re uh, Red Bite, but they've lost one as Shaw is out for the count as well. So here we go, on board with Goofy as he continues to look. Over towards that B site, nothing there. Might give Met a bit of a clear push. Umba is on the prowl. And Umba will dart around. Very quiet all of a sudden. Four, f four on three as Evo waits as well with the bomb outside the cafe. A few shots rattled off now as Nessa just fires into the smoke. And there's the frag. Mirko goes down. Met underneath the sniper does drop Messer. Good frag that. And uh, now Umba is out for the count. It's 6-1. And uh, this is not going well for Ox at all. Timeout called by Mirko. Why? Because they're getting hosed. <laughs> they are getting absolutely hosed. And uh, a tactical timeout is really required because, frankly, with five rounds left of this, uh, I, I don't really know what Ox are doing there. They are in danger of looking at 11-1, I think. So uh, I guess we're going to take a quick break while these guys do take this tactical timeout. Don't go in there. This is D-Man on Toss, but live on Quad V at the UGC here in Italy. We'll be back just in a few moments. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back from our timeout, and Lee, in that half time, you made an Andy Gray-style observation. No, you weren't a bigot, but, but you did come up with something. Yes, uh, Mesa, the scope for Ox, has not made a single frag so far in the first seven rounds, which is not good stats, for certainly for strike. <laughs> it's just not good stats. We're back into this one. I'm sure that our producer will take us off the camera and put us back in game so the lovely people don't have to look at our ugly mugs anytime soon. Uh, nope, still still wants to keep us here. Hi, guys. Hi. He's going bang, bang, bang. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> that was on Mirko. Look and then the other guy ran across. The players are kindly uh, delaying all the frags. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's killing each other now. So Met finally goes down. Uh, uh, down Zumba, sorry. And Leu on skin. Let me a quick flick around. There was one man on street, he's just been down by Meta Gain, but Shah finally gets his revenge. And uh, Ox again. Well, I don't think I've seen Mesa. No, Mesa's still not going to frag. So he's in a little bit of trouble at the moment. And uh, he can't get comfortable on this. Looks like Evo's going to rotate around. He's not going to get comfortable again because Goofy, the scope, has landed a grenade on him. Shah goes down, 7 1, and tactical timeout. Not too sure what tactics they discussed, but it wasn't anything about Call of Duty. No, it certainly wasn't. And uh, there's a lot of work to be done here for Red Bite. Sorry, for Ox. They are. They may as well, if, if it gets to halftime and it's level one, they may as well just get onto the map three and try and clear their heads. Map three would be district if it was needed. No, map three would be crash if it was needed, which Red Bite were good on against uh, the Fofos. So. Leho and uh, Re Leho will get himself a frag on Met. That may be Leho's only third frag. No, it's his fifth frag. He must have got one last round. But he's had a, a weak first half. Mirko's taken some damage. I know you've uh, been a little punchy and you're getting old, but it was Ox on crash. Frag from Mesa drops ahead of uh, Evo, and that's more like it, Mesa. You actually do need to kill people. I know you're a nice guy and everything, but. They'd kill you and everyone you love if they had the chance. And that's what Riddick is going to try and do. As he drops down, looks for the man beneath him. Good and, uh, here he goes. Drop, tries <laughs> to pick off Mirko, but in the end, didn't. 7-2. And Ox on the board. A clean sweep round for them as well. Yes, now it's going to hopefully boost their confidence because they're in danger of letting uh, Red Bike completely dominate them here on strike at the moment. They need to... There's not really been a lot of grenade frags. This is what we were talking about. And, and kind of that's where the Fofos were... I don't know whether it was the Fofos running into them or whether they were just doing them badly. But Goofy does land one on Umba. However, Red Bike did lose two members in the opening exchange. It was Evo and Skin both going down. So Ox have got themselves into position. Met, though, just about hanging on, taking Shah down. So Red Bike are stacked up in this A statue. There is... Uh, 
Yeah, there is someone there. Messer lands his first frag, ladies and gentlemen. No, he's got three. That's oh, his third wow. frag of this uh, round. He's the fourth frag now. He's absolutely on a mission. See, this is what we said. You've got a rag on Messer, and he will suddenly perform. You were mentioned this before, and suddenly it's almost like he's got someone listening to the stream next to them or something. <laughs> but uh, let's have a look at Riddick. Riddick is the last man for Red Bite. He's going to peek around. The bombs, the bomba, should I say, is a loose. And he does have someone in that corner, but it doesn't really matter because he just got dropped in a second. So 7-3, and, and the timeout's done its job. They've stopped the rot. And if they get to 7-4, seven, seven, uh, if they get 4, maybe 5 at half time, they've got something to play with. The problem is on, on strike, you cannot go into half time. One, two, three rounds, because the attack are going to get rounds. Sorry, the, on the defense, you will get rounds regardless. You're not going to close out a half entirely. So Ox had to get three. They really need four or five. Doesn't look like this is going to be the round where they get it, because they've lost two men, I think both to grenade frags. And uh, Red Bite have moved unopposed. Yeah, Red Bite saw someone there. Uh, sorry, Skin saw someone there, but <coughs> it doesn't matter. Shah is down, and uh, Umba and Shah, last two men standing. Umber, Umber and Messer lost two men standing, contrary to what uh, the overlay is telling us. And uh, Messer's not standing anymore. Met picks him up. And uh, there's Met with a beautiful little frag at the end on Umber. And we're down to 8-3. Last round of this half. Ox have got to win it. They do, because 9-3 uh, is a pretty unattainable score, even in the best attacks. So, skin gets tagged up. Nobody going just about as they say that Shah goes down to Riddick's grenade so immediately Ox on the back foot Skin is on the street he's looking for Messer is what he's doing so Messer's maybe changed up his position I don't know Lehu goes down to Goofy but immediately Ox in a world of hurt Skin downs Mirko it's getting worse and worse for Ox here it's looking like a 9-3 Messer manages to try and get one back Riddick there, but Met straight in his backside. Comes around, switches to Deagle. Met finishes the round. 9-3. Great score from Red Bite and a great attacking round. Great attacking half, should I say. 17 frags yeah. for Met there. 17 frags. That is a big performance for the first half. Very impressive stuff, it has to be said. And Red Bite, well, they only need to defend three rounds, uh, four rounds, sorry, to close out the match. Ox, they were good on attack. They were. And if I look at this morning, They were good uh, on attack? Score, uh, yeah, they were. They were good. No, they were good on attack oh, early, against okay. Fofos. Let me finish, man. Let me finish. Good lord, down the throat. And it was eight four four red bite. So you know, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. How can they do an attack? Met really turned it on in that half. And as we start the second half with him, we'll either give him the biggest commentator's curse ever, no or he'll find frags. Evo is uh, going to get frag number one. Switch over to Goofy as Met's gone. Walkies the, the wrong way from the action. Evo has one. Umba picks himself up another. And there's a second frag for Umba there if he wants it. But uh, he can't quite finish his breakfast. And Goofy will take him out with the sniper. Red Bite have four men up to just Shah. And Messer was in fact Shah despite the overlay that you saw. And uh, it's 10-3. And unfortunately, I don't like the chances of the Vox. They had to win that and they had to get out of here. Out of this dire situation they were in, but it hasn't happened at all. They did. That is a really big score for Men. He's, uh, he's been going big. Considering the rest of his team are on 10, he's on 18. He's, uh, he's saying, I'm not going B this time. I didn't see anyone. I want to go A. And uh, he has switched it up. And if actually, the irony, if he's, he'd gone B, he'd be seeing people right now. Because there's someone on the street just to the left-hand side of him. In that little complex to the right there. Uh, to the left, sorry. Skin does find Sharp. And Umba, oh, and Skin is goofy. He knows that there's someone here. He's going to call for Met. So Met's surely going to make his move. No, Met's going to go completely the opposite way and say, don't worry, Goofy's got that covered as he downs Leo. He has got someone coming down the street. He's sat ready and waiting. There they are. Pops out. Mirko goes down. And now we're down to Shah and Umba. Umba. Well, he's got Met just up the road there. What? Pick your poison. Met or Goofy, it seems. Or it could be Evo if he goes in here. There's one in the corner. I think it was Evo. He does take Evo down. It was Umba. That's doing that. He's got Met just to the side. Goofy comes in and says, don't you dare. I'm stealing that frag. And the last man is going to be Messer. He keeps showing up a Shah. But he's really not doing a fat lot on this side again. Yeah, well, this game's over. Oh, well, this map's over. 
We are going on to crash. crash any minute now. If I were Ox, I'd just say, right, thank you, let's get out of here because this is pointless. Ox have been, well, they have been killed like an Egyptian ox having to lug blocks for the pyramids from thousands of years ago. Those oxes were destroyed. Their backs broken, their hearts wounded, and that's exactly what has happened here. These oxes have just been awful on the second map, and they need to come back. They need to regroup. Not that I can say that much really went well for the, the animal, the ox, after the pyramids were built. Um, Met double fragging onto Shah and Leho, and uh, it's just Mirko left standing again. Met is just a, a beast right now uh, as he's up to his 22nd frag, and he'll be hoping this map goes on a little longer because he's well on for a 30 bomb if he were to get there, um, but he may only have one round to find those seven frags. Um, and that's actually a good point. He's dropped 20 in 15 rounds, or slightly less than that. He dropped his, uh, his 20. That's how good he's been. Yeah, he has been dominant, and uh, he, he was the same on crossfire. He was very strong on that, and really that was that was the only re reason Fofo has managed to keep it in. They managed to just get him into control and the rest of the team they can handle. And he, look at this. Look how aggressive he's gone. He's, he wants those frags. He's going looking for those frags, and he's not going to find them because they're nearly all dead. He gets Umba, gets 23. Good half exchange. Messes the last man standing. Comes around, downs him with a deagle. Says, I'll have 24. Thank you very much. Let's move on. That was completely and utterly pointless for a map. You <laughs> may as well have just skipped it because the uh, Ox side, I've, I've never seen quite a one-sided match like that in a long, long time.